is Haley and I work at the Fairdale Public Library and I have missed you so much. I've missed going to your school. I've missed you coming here. I've missed going to your daycare. So today we will be having a story time together. We will be talking about dinosaurs. To say dinosaur in sign language, I want you to hold up one finger and I want you to make like a little mouth with your other fingers and you're going to walk it across your arm, right? This is dinosaur in sign language. My son loves dinosaurs so much and that is why I chose today's topic. Um, if you were a paleontologist and you found dinosaur bones, would you believe that they were dragons? The Chinese hundreds of years ago did believe they were dragons. I mean, how could you not believe if you found the bones of a stegosaurus? that it was a dragon? What if you found the bones of a triceratops? My favorite. Or if you found the bones of a velociraptor? Oh, they're scary. And finally, what if you found the bones of a brachiosaurus? Wow, that's a very long neck. They were two stories tall. Can you imagine that? Standing in your house and you look out your window and there's a dinosaur, oh, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and sing our first song before we read our first book. And it goes like this, hold up your hand, and you're gonna go, we wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with the friends of story time, we clap and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, with the friends of story time, we stomp and sing hello. We roar and sing hello. We roar and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we roar and sing hello. Good job. All right. Dinosaur Stomp, a monster pop-up by Paul Strickland. I hear there's a stomp down at the swamp. <gasps> the invites out, roar and shout. Big or small, a welcome for all. Come out, don't miss a party like this. Don't stop to eat, get on your feet. Don't get in a spin. Come right in. Jump and prance, it's a dinosaur dance. The end. Yay! Okay, are you ready for our next song? Our next song is also a flannel board. We are going to do our dinosaur flannel board five enormous dinosaurs, and I want you to hold up your five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. And we have our Triceratops, one, our Stegosaurus, two, our Brachiosaurus, three, the Pterodactylus, and our Triceratops. Five enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. One stomped away and then there were four. Four enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. One stomped away and then there were three. Three enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. One went away and then there were two. Two enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. One went away and then there was one. One enormous dinosaur letting out a roar. One went away and then there were none. Stomp, 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 roar. Parents and caregivers, remember that our little ones can easily learn new language skills by doing things that they already like. For example, if you like dinosaurs, you can 
take some construction paper, some colored paper, paper, you can color it, make a dinosaur egg, and put the upper letter in the top and the lower letter in the bottom and make a little cut between it. And then you can mix them all up and have your child match the letter. So this is our uppercase D, and here is our lowercase D, and they can match it together. So easy. And it's very educational for something that's simple. Our next book is Snappy Little Dinosaurs. And this is written by Dugald Steer. And it's one of my favorites. You know why? Because it is a pop-up book. This is a Triceratops. If this were a zillion years ago, think of the dinos you would know. Now this is one who likes to munch. In fact, he eats 10 trees for lunch. Wow. Ooh, Diplodocus. Most dinosaurs just love to play. They hide and seek both night and day. But many of them are so very tall, they find it hard to hide at all. Pterodon. Along the cliffs al above the shore, there lives a flying dinosaur. Gigantic wings help her to fly around the prehistoric sky. Oh, Stegosaurus. This youngest has a funny shape. His spikes are sharp. They make you gape. Right now, he's just a little one, but he'll be huge at 21. Oh, Mosasaurus. Deep in the waters in the sea, a dino swims around with glee. Her tail goes splash, her flippers flap, her giant jaws shut with a snap. Oh, the Velociraptor. Some dinosaurs can run really, really fast. They race and make it look like fun. Just watch their legs go to and fro. Where's this one going? Do you know? <gasps> Proceratops. Here beneath the leafy shade, these enormous eggs were laid. This seems to be a special batch. Oh, look, a baby starts to hatch. Ankylosaurus. This dino makes her tail go thump. The noise is loud, it makes you jump. Her skin is thick and very lumpy. No wonder why she's often grumpy. Oh, everybody's favorite. Tyrannosaurus Rex. The baby dino's all alone. Her mommy's left him on his own. Hmm, oh no, his mom just heard him cry. Soon she'll roar a lullaby. If someday you hear a roar and don't think about, don't think it's a dinosaur. For as you know, and sad to say, there are no dinosaurs today. The end. This book was amazing. My favorite part of this book was the pterodon flying over the ocean. Did you know that pterodons were actually relatives to the dinosaurs and they were not dinosaurs. They were more um, like flying reptiles who had, instead of feathers on their wings, they had skin. Skin that went to their finger all the way down to their ankle. That's wild. That's so amazing. Let me let you meet somebody. I have a friend today, and this is Mrs. T-Rex. Let's let her say hello to you. Hello, my name is Miss T-Rex, and I'm here to sing a song with you. And it goes, if you're a dino and you know it, scratch your claws. If you're a dino and you know it, scratch your claws. If you're a dino and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're a dino and you know it, scratch your claws. If you're a dino and you know it, swish your tail, swish, swish. If you're a dino and you know it, swish your tail, swish, swish. If you're a dino and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If 
you're a diner and you know it, swish your tail, swish, swish. If you're a diner and you know it, give a roar, roar. If you're a diner and you know it, give a roar, roar. If you're a diner and you know it, then your face should surely show it. If you're a diner and you know it, give a roar, roar. If you're a diner and you know it, do all three. Scratch, scratch, swish, swish, roar. If you're a diner and you know it, do all three. Scratch, scratch, swish, swish, roar. If you're a diner and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're a diner and you know it, do all three. Scratch, scratch, swish, swish, roar. Yay! Say bye-bye, Mr. X. Bye-bye. Our last book of the day is A Number of Dinosaurs, a pop-up counting book by Paul and Henrietta Sticklin. One, little dinosaur. Plus one makes two. Two little dinosaurs plus one makes three. Three little dinosaurs plus one makes four. Four little dinosaurs oh, plus one makes five. Wow, five little dinosaurs plus one makes six, six little dinosaurs. Plus one makes, oh look at this one, seven, seven little dinosaurs. Plus one makes eight, oh, eight little dinosaurs plus one makes Nine, nine little dinosaurs plus one makes 10, 10 little dinosaurs. Wow, that's an amazing book. If you were a dinosaur, what dinosaur would you be? Can you pretend to give a big roar? Roar! Good job, thank you. Thank you for reading with us today. Before we say goodbye, we're gonna sing one more song. And it's the same one from the very beginning where we wave, except this time we say goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With the friends it's story time, we wave and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With the friends it's story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. With the friends, it's story time. We stomp and sing goodbye. We roar and sing goodbye. We roar and sing goodbye. With the friends, it's story time. We roar and sing goodbye. Thank you. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye. <laughs>